So far we have been using uh, while loops in C. Now C programming language also provides you uh, other kinds of loops. Uh, let's look at some of them. Um, the first alternative loop mechanism in C that we will look at is what is known as a do while loop. And so it's a variant of a while loop. Um, and the general form is what you see here. Uh, you have do statement followed by while expression. And here is an important syntactic difference which causes some syntax errors when you code. The do while uh, terminates with a semicolon, whereas the while loop does. So the while loop um, has the following uh, form, which is while expression and then statement. The difference is that here the statement is occur uh, occurring before the while, the test expression. So the way it executes is the following. You first execute the statement then evaluate the expression. If the expression is true, you go back to step 1 that is execute the statement. If the expression is false, then you get out. Okay. So you execute the ex statement, then test whether the expression is true or not. If it is true, you go back and execute the statement again. So you loop. If the statement is false, you get out of the loop. The difference from a while loop and a do while loop is the following. You have a statement uh, that will be executed without uh, testing the expression even once. Okay. So when you start executing the loop, you will first execute the statement without testing the expression. And after testing the expression, you will go back and test the, uh, test the loop expression if it is true and you start executing the loop again. Okay. So the first execution of the statement there is no test done for that. So let us uh, see the comparison between a loop, a while loop and a do while loop. So we will look at the following problem. Uh, you have to read numbers uh, and output each integer until a minus 1 is seen. Now the difference is that in this problem you have to include the minus 1. So read all the numbers up to and including minus 1 and print all the numbers. So we will have the following programs using while loop and do, do while loop. Now the important thing to notice is that the while construct and the do while construct are equally expressive. So you cannot uh, write any more new programs using the do while construct than you could using the while construct. But certain kinds of programs are easier using are shorter using the do while construct. For example, let us solve this problem using the while construct. So what you do initially is you declare a variable, then scan the variable. If the variable is minus 1, you immediately exit out of the loop and print minus 1 and finish the program. If the number is not minus 1, you print the value and scan the next number. If the number you scanned is not minus 1, you just print it and repeat the loop. If it is minus 1, you exit out of the loop and print the minus 1 that you saw. Okay. So here is the logic using the do while loop, using the while loop. And notice that when we exited out of the loop, we needed a printf statement. And before you ex enter the loop, you needed a scanf statement. Okay. So this was the structure of the program. This problem can be elegantly solved using the do while loop. What you initially need to do is you declare the variable, then scan the variable and print it anyway. Either the number is minus 1 or it is not. In, in any case, we need to print it. So go ahead and print it. Then test whether the number was minus 1. If it is minus 1, you are done and you exit out of the program. If it is not minus 1, you go back and scan the next number and print it. So this is a program that we have seen where you could do the same thing with the while loop. The only difference is that the do while program is shorter. Okay. And please be careful about the syntactic difference between the while loop and the do while loop. 
notice the semicolon at the end. This causes a lot of confusion when um, you compile the program. It is easy to miss this. If you are new to C programming, you can stick to one particular loop. As I said before, you cannot write any new programs that you can um, do using the do while loop than you could previously do using the while loop. Okay, so you can write the same logic, uh, you can write the same number of programs using the while loop and the do while loop. It gives you no further power. So it is recommended that you stick to one loop, pick while or pick do while, whatever you do, but stick to that loop in when you write the program. When you are comfortable with one of the loops, programming using the other loop becomes easy. Okay. So let us try to solve a problem that we have already seen, which is to find the length of the longest contiguous increasing subsequence ending in minus 1. The difference that we have is that earlier we did not include minus 1 in the sequence when you computed the length of the sequence. Now we will include minus 1. Okay. So here is the program to do that and the logic, the core logic, so here is the initialization okay. and here is the loop logic. Okay. And the final check. So if you recall from the lecture which covered the problem solving the longest increasing subsequence, then you will see that uh, the main structures in the code, the uh, main lines of logic in the code are pretty much the same. All I have done is to change the while logic to the do while logic. Okay. And let us see what that has accomplished for us. So what this does is that you will scan a particular number. If the particular number is uh, bigger than the previous number, then you extend the sequence. If it is less than or equal to the previous number, then you stop the sequence and start a new sequence. This was the logic. Um, and when you start a new sequence, the length is you start with uh, 1. Okay. Then you say uh, current equal to the next number and previous equal to the um, number that was just read. So the logic here is that the testing for whether the currently read number is minus 1 is done at the end of the loop. So if the first number is minus 1, you just uh, do all this and then say that the length of the uh, increasing subsequence is 1. Okay. And then you test if the currently read number is minus 1 or not. If the currently read number is minus 1, then you are already done and you exit out of the loop. Then you check whether max length is less than length as before. The difference between this logic and the logic that we have seen before is that we do this execution without testing whether the currently read number is minus 1. So automatically what happens is that if the number is minus 1, all these steps will be performed before we test that the sequence has ended. Okay. So automatically we ensure that minus 1 is also included when we cal calculate the increasing subsequence.